So who was your mentor then? His name's Mark Harefield from South Haven Kennels. He's a Springer guy primarily. He does some Labrador work, um, but uh, he is uh, he's a super good dude. And he's been training Springer since um, 1979, <clears throat> I think. And uh, he is, uh, I think he has like 55, 56 Springer field trial champions to his name. I mean, he's a very well accomplished guy. Uh, and he's one of the first people to start bringing gun dogs over from the United Kingdom. So he would bring over uh, British labs and, and uh, spaniels and, and all that. And uh, I was at his kennel one day and he had some Labradors. And I was like, I like those. I don't, I had, I had not previously liked labradors at all uh i was like they're big they're loud they knock everything over they just all seem to be like super obnoxious but it turns out i'd just been around a bunch of labradors that were just weren't very well bred i'll think and <laughs> his were smaller and quiet and a lot of drive but very steady beautiful dogs and so i ended up buying a few from him and tried my hand at training those and that was sort of the that snowball from there so when so, that happened then did you pretty much switch over to labs or do you still have your hand in springers as well I, sw I switched to labs, but I, I always have at least one Springer. Uh, are there any are there any things that Springers are better at than labs? Or do labs beat them across the board and everything? Yeah, I mean, I shoot myself in the foot for saying it, but um, I think that <laughs> when it comes to um, general nose work and the ability to – two things, really. The ability to um, work through heavy cover – and the ability to endure a lot of field work. I think Springer's had the advantage because they're lighter weight, they're smaller, and they're really zippy. Uh, they're always very busy dogs. Aren't those traditionally, aren't, aren't Springer's traditionally, uh, um, what would you call it? Not utility. What, what's the word for that? Versatile? Yeah, versatile dogs. Uh, are you there? Yep, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're very versatile. They're typically, um, sorry, I think we caught up. Are we good? Um, yep. they're typically, um, used for quarter and flush work. So they're not a pointing dog, um, mm -hmm. pheasants, any upland birds where you're quartering and flushing and not trying to, you know, get a solid point. Um, but they're used as waterfowl dogs as well. They definitely cannot, uh, handle the, uh, the cover as well as, I mean, sorry, the cold water as well as a Labrador by any stretch. Mm -hmm. Labradors are far, far more, uh, I guess just tough. They're just tougher. They can handle hardier. a lot more when it comes to, yeah, they're hardier. Their coats are built for it. Um, and then springers have a really tough time picking up geese. And so <laughs> as a waterfowler, they don't make a lot of sense. I see people do it and I think people have success, but it's usually people that just want to do something different and that's cool. We'll power to them. Um, <clears throat> so, so Springer yeah. with a proper coat, uh, what's kind of the bottom end temperature you would take? A springer that's been i wouldn't put it yeah i wouldn't put a springer first of all if i were waterfowling a springer i would shave it uh because their coat is literally just a sponge i mean if i'm putting a springer in water their coat serves zero purpose other than to make them wetter i mean they just hold water like a like a rag so um i i i guess i'd shave it i wouldn't put one in water much below freezing at all wow. uh, what I would do if I were hunting, I have a Springer who is built like a Labrador. He's big. He's 50, 55, 56 pounds, which is very big for a Springer. And he's, um, he's too hot. He's too hot for AKC field trials, which is, that says a lot. Um, and, uh, I put him in some really cold water, but I just make, cause he would go and he'd be fine. I just make sure that when he got out, I had like, a what are those little things that you can drive a car off with the little Damn. chamois tower, chamois? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'd have one of those to get the water off of him and then have a little buddy heater to, for him to sit by, and he'd be hmm. fine. But, like, my labs, I don't worry about that mess. You know, we hunted this year. I think we I think we broke uh, ice. You know, I'm in the south, so for us, breaking ice is a big deal. But we broke ice probably 20 times this season. Hmm. And, uh, uh, and dogs had no issue, you know. <laughs>